God, he boarded everything up. Hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. I just broke the law. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can kind of see up there. You can see kind of like the ladder. Oh, God, that's funny as hell. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How big is this? Jesus. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Wait, 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 wait. He said east. Yeah? So. Oh, crap! Which way's north? Ah, frick. Uh. Oh, 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 wait, I'm not the. Okay, I'm not the. <laughs> I'm not the fork in the road yet. <laughs> I was. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have. I haven't reached that point, I think. Oh, that scared me. Hi. Hello. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Uh. I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murder! A trailing psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ah! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Oh, I didn't mean to! Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I gave you a mouth, damn it. Be happy. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, binding her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Was she a stool? Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a stool. A stool. Yes! <laughs> oh god. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. God, sorry, but I mean, it's just. Oh god. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. You had no it mouth. Makes me sick. You had no mouth like two seconds ago. I gave you one. Shut up. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. Eh. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural and I'm full of it. Oh. Yeah, you are. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, it, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sound. I'm mad to make him throw up, aren't I? I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Um, I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Woo, okay. Someone is not a happy camper. I mean, I, I can't really blame him, but... Uh... Oh! Hello, Shellmound. Looks like Mog Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Good. It is a sandcastle! Oh my god, everything is a sandcastle. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. These seagulls seem to really like fish guts. Can I take one? Okay. These fishing poles are useless. Oh. All the hooks have been stolen. Really? Okay, lift it up slowly. Oh, they're making a sandcastle! Oh, I love this! Okay, okay. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Oh. Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. 
I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. Hmm. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. I don't know what that means, but okay. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Are you saying I smell bad? No, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. I, I can't. She's dead. So thanks for opening that wound. Thank you. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Uh, I, I, I won't say that because I feel like he would be very pissed at me. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Yeah, but I mean, how close is that to be to the ocean? And how, I mean, there's got to be some depths from where this, the water actually hits the sand. Can't you measure it out or something? Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Yeah, it's just disturbing that you can say that with a straight face. Hello. Hi. You maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? It, do you not gonna answer? Where are your arms, by the by? Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But Shell Maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. This is a weird place. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. How do you know? Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. <laughs> Shit. See you maidens later. 
Ciao! Nice! You know, I think this one looks like it could be excellent. Surely this one will last. I'm waiting. Ah, there it goes! Oh, God. why would you put it in the water? Can't you put it, like, on land? Oh, there we go. I was like, how long is this transition? Oh. Hi. A sighted stranger approaches. Hello. Not so. Hi, gun. What? Oh. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh yeah. Huh. The dead eye god sees no one. Who? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. I didn't know. Plus, if it's a tomb for a god, isn't that kind of, I don't know, bad? Because aren't gods supposed to, in essence, live forever? Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. <coughs> I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm. Sounds promising. No kidding. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Ah. Uh. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Uh. Huh. It's a little extreme. <clears throat> hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah. Here. Thanks. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. No one? Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Shh. No problem. I don't. <sighs> um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet reward, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will run out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Is it a worm? I want to say it's like a worm. Come on, Clarence, we're running out of time. Can you hear me? Let's there? cut this ribbon already. You tell him, non maiden. Shut up. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Is there something in here I can take? Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure Mog Trotha, whatever, however you pronounce his name, got enough 
<clears throat> whatever. Okay, I have driftwood. If I can get the bucket, I can make him throw up and get sap. Why I need sap, I have no clue, but... There you go. Okay, here's his house. Is there another pathway? There is another pathway! I was right! I saw so I... Stupid... Whoa, what the hell? Wait, is this east? West? That's a snake. That's a snake! Hey! Uh, let go! Uh. Oh boy. Blow, blow, blow! Scare it, scare it! Okay. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. Okay, so I'm confined. Hi, Curtis. Hi. Hey, Bella. Oh, you're so cool. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. <laughs> Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Got it. Oh! It'll actually let me go back up? Really? <laughs> I can see the damage that I caused. Uh-oh. This is gonna be awkward. Whoops. Where's... Oh. Hello? Oh. Is that... No. Hmm. Is there really any point to being back up here? Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the path. He still has nothing new to say. Okay. Fun. Huh. There, there I am. Okay, there we go. So I have a chance to go back up the clouds if I need to, but... No, I would. Is there anything over here? Nope. you get back to your screaming. Hmm. Firm. And pungent. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Okay, let's try it there. Raise it now, gently. Marshall Dune? Mm hmm? Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. Might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist or a girl wearing half a dress? Rude. Hey, do you know the answer to the riddle about the pits and rotten bed? What kind of pits are you talking about? Huh. Not sure. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> uh. Hmm. 
Those shell maidens won't share their monster bait with me. Please, that's terrible. I know. They won't give me a single drop. No, I mean it's terrible what a tattletale you are. <laughs> no perfume will cover up poor sportsmanship, young lady. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Seriously? Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Wow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Interesting. Did not think that was going to work. Hello, ladies. I have a question for you. What's up, maidens? Hey, are you guys good with riddles? Of course we are. Except the kind where there are words that have like two meanings. Oh yeah, and you think the word means one thing, but it actually means the other thing? Yeah, I hate those. <laughs> it's not like that, is it? Uh, maybe? maybe? See you maidens later. Ciao! Okay, I want to hear that riddle again because I have a peach and it keeps bringing up the pit thing. So. Shh. Here she comes again. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed. Up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. It's the pit of a peach. Well, it's the pit of a peach. Yeah. Bring us the solution and you may enter the pyramid. Can I give them just the peach? Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Okay, I'm going to give them the peach and see if that works. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Wait, you guys didn't oh, know? Man. That's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Sweet! That was stupidly simple. I'm going in. Okay. Excellent. Whoa! What the heck? This is a little bit more... I wonder what that symbol means. Guess this is where they buried their old god. There's that symbol again. It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. Huh. Such strange shapes in here. This is weird. What is that symbol? It looks like a person? No. Bert, what is that? What is that? What is any of this? Huh. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. This is weird. Don't really know I can get in there. What is that strange symbol I see all over the pyramid? You mean the Gamethus? Sure. That was the sacred symbol of the Dead Eye God. It is said that in his day, the Dead Eye God would draw the Gamethus for all his followers. That was very important to him. And so we worship it to this day. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Hmm. Okay, so... No, no, not like that. Move in a little 
Maybe, okay, so if I get the sap, I could give that to him, because then I can make the thing stick, and therefore I can get the maiden's feast going, yeah? Yeah? Is that right? Oh, you're gonna hate me. I already know you are. Okay, buddy. Sorry I have to do this. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Kind of. Is there no end to the humiliation? I'm about to make you vomit, so sorry. Found some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. But at least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by your human. Nah, oh, damn it. Uh... A ladder? I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from Meriloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Dang. No kidding. Okay. Uh, I never thought I'd say this, but how do I make you barf? Check it out. Non-talking wood. Yay! Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew. That's a relief. <laughs> Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my sample. <laughs> reason why I'm laughing for those of you who are not in the medical field there's another definition for the word stool and that's basically a crap sample so oh my god oh that's funny as hell so basically you can interpret it as either he's gonna make a seat made out of wood or he's gonna crap his pants I mean what the fuck Oh god, that's funny as hell. <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm crying a little bit. That was good. God damn it, designers. Hey. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Hi. Hey, Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah. What is it? Well, you know, it's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be. If I had such a superficial understanding of the work. <laughs> How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Fair enough. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically. But I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Oh my god, are you like some hipster person? I don't understand okay, you. Okay, I'm taking this. <laughs> cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. How old are... How, okay, well, first off, how old am I? <laughs> Second off, how old are you? Okay, so... <clears throat> I have a stool. And technically speaking, that tree knows what a stool is. And I don't mean that the crappy variety, I mean of the wooden variety. So, if I show him the stool, that should make him vomit. I can't believe I want to make a tree vomit sap, but you know, welcome to this game, I guess. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood 
to get to the tender stuff inside. Then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. Before he begins the deep carving. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! <laughs> I have my stool and I have sap! Excellent! Sorry. I'm sorry, guy. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you're- if this game's on your side, this is probably the last time I'm gonna bother you. Okay, so before I give the sap to him, I'm gonna go up to the, uh, the temple thingy to do and put that relief in, cause... Shh! Here she comes again! I'm going in. Okay. You're very calm about this. 